I would say first find an unmet need. Uh, okay. Unless you do that, you know, whatever. And the reality is there are unmet needs around us all the time. Right. And you've then got to come with that first. Uh, most people work the other way around. You know, they fall in love with the technology or they learn something new, which is cool. And then they say, okay, now how can I find someone else? So I honestly think this product market fit should be the other way around. It should be market product fit. That once you've identified your market, I think then come up with a product which meets that need. And honestly, I, 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 I think there's so many advantages to being an entrepreneur in India. You can run stuff frugally. You have access, the advantage to everything which anyone sitting in Stanford has, except the money piece in the sense, you know, you have access to servers, you have access. You can hire people at half the cost or one third right. cost. It gives you such a big edge. You have a huge domestic market. I mean, you know, any Israeli entrepreneur would get their left arm for that. Those poor guys don't have a choice. They're right. forced to go global because, you know, how many Israelis are there they can possibly sell to. You don't have any of those things. So why don't you just focus on where you have the right to win rather than, you know, do what every other idiot is doing because that's what your story is covering or that's what Inc. 42 is or that's what you read about because all the time. So-and-so raised a million dollars. So-and-so raised five million dollars. Okay, usne paisa kamaya, to main bhi kama sakta hu. You know, all kinds of things, which honestly I believe are distractions. But right. 